No, and, it, and it's actually not true that the stimulus didn't work. It's actually not true that this is a bad jobs bill. Um, different economists have come out. Moody's came out and said that they thought this was a good bill. It would probably create 2 million jobs. So, you know, I think in this idea that um, he's raising all these taxes, it's, it's on a very a minority of people. And while the people in Washington may not like it, actually people, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, tend to support uh, raising taxes on the very wealthy, especially to, to help uh, pay down the deficit. Uh, so I think that it's a solid plan, um, but there's a lot of political issues because we're in, going into a, an election year and you, you're going to have people, yes, accusing them of raising taxes and, um, you know, unnecessarily, even though it is necessary and even though it is on a tiny proportion of people. And most small business people, by the way, don't wouldn't be affected by this because they don't make over two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. It's All right, like John. A the tiny, last word. The last word. You got the, you got that magic two hundred fifty thousand dollar a year uh, uh, figure. What about fifty percent of those people? I mean, about uh, fifty percent. Uh, they pay about fifty percent of the taxes. Well, yeah, and the, the other thing is, is that when the president passed and when, when they were selling that first stimulus uh, package back in 2009, all of their projections said that if they passed the stimulus, the unemployment rate today would be about 6.5%. And, of course, it's over 9%. So the president doesn't have a lot of credibility on whether or not these government programs will actually create jobs. I think what he needs to be looking at is stabilizing the tax rates, lowering taxes, and then taking away all of those regulations that are hanging over the economy that are making employers less willing to invest in new employers. Uh, all right. Well, it's, gonna, it's in the House uh, this week, and we'll see uh, <laughs> what happens. Uh, Kirsten Powers and Jonathan Colegio, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Thank Robert. you. Jamie? New developments this morning in the Fast and Furious investigation we've been talking about. We're now learning the House Oversight Committee is issuing new subpoenas to find out just how much Attorney General Eric Holder knew about.